Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you all the chests in the chasm surface and in the chasm underground. And before we get started, I would recommend you to first complete all the prerequisite world quest series. All the quests and the links to the walkthrough videos are available in the description below. So be sure to check them out if you need. And as always, you can use the comment section below to note your timestamp and which chest you were collecting if you cannot finish this video in one go, so that you know where you have left off the previous time. Alright, then without further ado, let's get started. Alright, then we are teleported to this waypoint. Let's head towards southwest down left on the minimap. Climb up here. Here defeat the enemies. Then turn towards northeast, up right on the minimap. Near the stairs here, you will find these four geo stones. Let's break them and obtain geo crystals. You can grab maximum three crystals at once, so we are going to come back. Grab three of them for now and then let's come up here. Turn towards northwest, up left on the minimap, and send in the crystals into these lamps. Now let's go back and grab the last crystal. When these four lamps are lit, a chest will appear. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. You will see a Sealy here, so let's follow it. Then keep following this path. Here to your right, you will see this unique rock. We can trigger this explosive to trigger it. Continue to follow this path, and here to your left, there's a chest. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Drop down here, turn towards north, you will see this unique rock with two symbols. We are going to place a drill construct in front and then come over here to trigger this unique rock pillar. And the unique rock will be broken. Then turn towards east, right side on the minimap. There's a Sealy here, so let's follow it. And here in front, there's a unique rock. So head west, left side on the minimap, and trigger this pillar. 
and then let's go back to the Sealy. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap, and follow the path. From here, let's climb up towards south. Go around the rock here. Come over here. We're going to place a geo construct here between these two rocks. And then we are ready to trigger this pillar. Then let's head towards north, up or on the minimap. Drop down here. We are going to place two geo constructs in front of this rock. After that, let's come over here to this pillar and trigger it. Then let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Here to your right, there's a unique rock, and we're going to place two geo constructs in front of it. And then come over to this pillar and trigger it. Then let's climb up here and head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Come to this unique rock, we are going to place two geo constructs in front of it. And then come to this pillar and trigger it. Then keep heading towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Let's place a geo construct in front of this rock and then trigger this geo pillar. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Jump down here. We are heading towards these rocks. Let's place one geo construct in front of this rock and then let's trigger the pillar. Then let's head towards north, up or on the minimap.
there's a jumping stone here so let's jump up and then head towards west left side on the minimap we are going to place two geo constructs in front of this rock and then let's trigger this pillar Right after that, let's teleport to this statue of the seven and head towards south downward on the minimap. Come down here to the wooden deck. You will find two fireplaces and in the middle there is a wooden box. We are going to break the boxes and then defeat the enemies. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap, and climb up here. On this bridge, there are several animal slimes, and we are going to defeat them. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. In this corner, there's a rock pile, so let's break it. Inside, there's a challenge, so let's start it. Follow the path to collect these particles. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. And here defeat the enemies. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Come to this unique rock and let's place a geo construct in front and then trigger this pillar. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Climb up here. And from here, let's head towards south, downward on the minimap. To your right, let's defeat these enemies. And the chest is inside the hub. Then let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. and defeat the enemies. Then keep heading towards east. Come to this unique rock and we're going to place a geo construct in front and then trigger this pillar. Then turn around and head towards north, upward on the minimap. Come to this position, we are going to place a geo construct between these two rocks. 
somewhere here, like so. And then trigger this unique pillar. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. There's a jumping platform here, so let's jump up and head towards east, right side on the minimap. And here let's place a geo construct in front of this rock and it should be broken by itself. Then keep heading towards east, right side on the minimap. And here let's defeat the enemy. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Jump down here and we are going to investigate. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Place a geo construct in front of this rock and then let's trigger this pillar. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Come down here and defeat the enemies. Then in the southeast direction, there is a challenge. After that, right in front, there is a Sealy, so let's follow it. Right after this, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards west, left side on the minimap. Drop down here, there's a locked chest. Break the geostones nearby and grab the crystals and place them into the lamps to unlock the chest. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Drop down here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap and follow this path. Jump up here using this jumping platform and head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Here to your right, there's a rock pile, so let's break it. Then keep heading towards southwest. Come to this wooden platform and jump down here. In the north direction, you will find a building and inside it, there's a chest. Then exit this building and head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. There's a Sealy here, so let's follow it. Then keep heading towards northwest and defeat these enemies.
then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Go up the stairs here, we are going to come back to the ceiling later. To your left, climb up the ladder. And here you will find several wooden boxes, so let's break them all. Then let's defeat these enemies in the northwest direction. Right now let's go back to the city that we just saw. So come down to the stairs here and follow the city. Alright after that, let's teleport to this waypoint and glide towards north upward on the minimap. Near this construction, there is a sealy, so let's follow it. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Use this jumping platform to jump up and glide towards south, downward on the minimap. And here let's defeat the enemies. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Jump down here. You will see that there is a ceiling in front of this tunnel. Then let's climb up here to your right and head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap and defeat the enemies. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. On the ground you will see this pressure plate, so let's place a drill construct on it. These symbols will appear, so let's follow them. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap, and let's investigate. Then head towards north, upward on the minimap, and follow this track. Here to your right, let's climb up. You will see a shovel in this corner, and here we can dig up a chest. Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards north, upward on the minimap. Follow this path.
and here defeat the slimes. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. We are going to do this challenge. Then continue to head northwest, climb up here. There are several dual pillars. Come to the middle here and trigger the unique pillar to activate all the pillars at once. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Jump down here. And head towards south, downward on the minimap. Come down here. Place the geoconstruct in front of the unique rock. And then trigger the pillar. Then let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Drop down here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Come to this jumping platform, jump up and head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. There's a pressure plate here, so let's place the geo construct and then follow these symbols. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Glide towards this cliff, we are going to investigate. Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. And from here head towards east. Here we are going to simply trigger the unique rock pillar. Oops, sorry piggy, that's your fault. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Jump down here and simply trigger this pillar. Then in the northwest direction, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. Next, let's go out of this tunnel and head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap, and defeat these enemies. Then head towards southeast, use this jumping platform, jump up and head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Climb up here, we're going to do a challenge. There's one particle here in the middle of the ring and it's easy to miss it.
last one above this tree. Also easy to miss. Right next, let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. To your left, there's a pressure plate and initially there's an enemy stepping on it. So this chest may already be available thanks to this hilochu. Otherwise, if you happened to have defeated the enemies or got their attention like in this case, then we can simply go back to the pressure plate and place a geo construct, and this chest will appear again. Alright, next, in the southeast direction, you may already see this chest, and that's probably because you have already triggered the pillar. And if that's the case, you can simply go ahead and collect it. But if not, here's what you do. See these two rocks here? We are going to place a geo construct between them. Somewhere here, like so. And then simply trigger the pillar. And the unique rock will be broken. And this chest will be visible. Right next, let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. And it's also likely that you will see this chest already if previously you have placed a geo construct on this pressure plate. And if not, you can simply place a geo construct on this pressure plate and then trigger the unique pillar. And this unique rock will be broken and the chest will be visible. After that, let's head towards west, left side on the minimap. Here we are going to trigger this huge unique rock pillar. And this chest in the northwest direction will be visible. Then keep heading towards northwest. Climb up here. On this platform, you will see this cannon here. So let's operate it. We are going to rotate the cannon to the left three times. And then rotate it downward once. Fire it and it should break an entrance for you. Now head towards east, slightly towards south. Now you should see this entrance here. So let's jump down. And there's a chest. Then in the south direction, there's a barrel. So let's trigger it and break the rock pile. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap, and follow this path. There's a jumping platform here, so let's use it to jump up and head towards west, left side on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Come down here, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. And right in front, there's a challenge. And the chest is on this jumping platform. After that, let's jump up. 
and head towards northwest upper left on the minimap. Climb up here and trigger this pillar in the middle. This will activate all the geo pillars nearby. Then head towards southeast bottom right on the minimap. Let's ride these rings and ride this wind current up. Then glide towards north upward on the minimap. You can see this chest inside this animal barrier. Then let's use this jumping platform to jump up and glide towards east. And here defeat the enemies. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint. And head towards north, upward on the minimap. Here, defeat the enemies. Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Jump down here, there's a geo stone. So let's break it and grab the crystal. And place it inside this large geo lamp. Now we can go ahead and trigger this pillar. Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. From here, look down. There's a chest guarded by enemies. Then let's place a geo construct on this pressure plate. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Jump up here and follow the rings. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Come to this position. You will see this bunch of flowers. And here we are going to place a geo construct. Then near this bunch of flower, we are going to place a second geo construct. And now we are ready to trigger this large unique rock pillar. Head towards west, left side on the minimap. Follow the shock waves. And the chest is here near the rocks. Alright, next, let's teleport to this domain. And if you haven't unlocked this domain, I'll show you quickly how to unlock it. And for those who have already unlocked it, simply teleport there and skip ahead in the video. Now head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. We are going back to this pressure plate. We are going to place the geo construct on it. And then let's go back to the large unique rock pillar. So head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. And we're going to simply trigger it. And this basically will help you to unlock the entrance. After that, you will also get an achievement. So follow the path to enter here and unlock the domain. Then inside here, in the middle, there's a gap. So let's jump down here 
and head towards east, right side on the minimap. We are going to follow this path. And there's a chest at this end. Alright, and that's all the chests in the open world that you can collect in the chasm surface. The rest are obtained by doing world quests and hidden exploration objectives. The next one is obtained as you do the world quest on detective infiltration. At the end of the quest, you are rewarded a chest. And this quest is in conjunction to the next quest. The next one is obtained as you do the world quest, the Millennial Mountains. All the required quests and links to the walkthrough video can be found in the video's description below. So be sure to check it out. And while you are there, if this video was helpful, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. And as I said earlier, this quest required the previous quest to be completed, so I can recommend you to do them both. Alright, and the last three chests. Let's teleport to this statue of the seven first and head towards south downward on the minimap. We can obtain them by playing a mini game with this NPC Ocho. And in short, this is basically a minesweeper game. Successfully finishing the game will reward you one chest and you can get a maximum three chests. However, there's a maximum number of tries per day. So you can try maximum seven times. After that, you will have to wait until the next server reset. And if you have trouble playing this game, check the description below. I also have a link to how you can play this mini game. Alright, and that should be all the chests that you can find on the chasm surface. The next part of this video, we are going to enter the chasm underground. So I would recommend you to first finish all the prerequisite Warcraft series before continuing. So check the description below again for which Warcraft series are required. And I can recommend you to first unlock all the waypoints here. And let's teleport to this one. We are going to head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. This one is beside this wooden box. Then come up the stairs here. In this corner, there's another chest. And here we just need to light up these three lumen lamps. Next, let's teleport back. Head towards west, left side on the minimap. Here we're going to light up these two lumen lamps. Next, we are heading towards this location. Let's use this bridge. And here we need to clear this oozing concretion and this chest will be revealed. Then head towards northeast upper right on the minimap. Jump down here and look down, there's a challenge. Follow the path and collect the particles. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Here defeat the enemies. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Look up there, there's a Sealy. So let's follow it.
Then in the north direction, let's light up these two lumen lamps. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap, and go up the stairs here. We are going to recharge this chest, and then we can open it. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Come to this edge here, use your elemental sight. To your left, you will see this jumping platform. So let's glide towards it. Near the rock here, there is a jumping platform, so let's use it to jump up and enter this cave. We're going to defeat this enemy. After that, let's follow this path to enter the tunnel. At the end here, you will see this ceiling, so let's follow it. Then let's exit this cave. Come to this edge here and jump down. We are going to jump all the way down here. And light up these three lumen lamps. Right after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards north, upward on the minimap. Behind these two wooden boxes, there's a chest. Then let's teleport back. Turn towards southwest and go up the stairs here. Come in front of these stairs. We're going to climb up. If you look up, you can see this wooden deck. corner there's a chest then let's teleport back head towards south downward on the minimap come down here there's a challenge then head towards northwest upper left on the minimap in this corner there are two wooden boxes and behind them, there's the chest. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then we're going to head towards south. So let's go through this bridge. And clear the concretion here. Right after that, let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards south, downward on the minimap. We are going to jump down here. You will see this pressure plate. So let's place a geo construct on it and then follow these symbols. Then let's head towards north upward on the minimap. Jump down here, we are going to clear the concretion in this corner. 
and then light up these three lumen lamps. Then turn towards north upward on the minimap. Look up, dear Cecily. So that's the first one. For the second one, turn towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Look up, there's the one. Finally, we are going to light up these two lumen lamps on this side to unlock the chest. Then let's ride the wind current up and then glide towards west left side on the minimap. Follow this path and defeat the enemies. Right after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards east, right side on the minimap. Jump down here. On this wooden platform, there's a pressure plate. So let's place a drill construct on it. And then let's follow the symbols. Then in the southeast direction, there's a chest, so defeat the enemies. Then continue to head towards southeast and defeat more enemies. Right after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. We are going to come to this wooden deck. You will see many vases and we are going to only break the middle one. And if you break the other ones, the chest may not appear. And if the chest doesn't appear for you, then you will have to wait until the next server reset and then try again. Alright, after that, let's teleport back and head towards north upward on the minimap. Come to this wooden platform here. There's a wooden box, so let's break it and simply recharge this lamp. Then let's glide down here to the west direction. Look down, there's a challenge. Then let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. In this corner, there's a chest. Then let's climb up here and to your right, 
there's a chest, so defeat the enemies. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Go along the path there, and we are going to climb up on this pillar. Here you will see a symbol, so let's trigger it. Turn towards northwest, you can see the symbol has moved, so let's follow it. And here we need to go along this rope, so take your time in case you fall down. And here a trick is to use a bow character and use the aim mode. This will prevent you from falling down. Then let's head towards north and follow this path. Clear the concretion here and the chest will be visible. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap and follow this path. Here to your right, in the north direction, there's a chest, so defeat the enemies. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap, and defeat enemies. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. We are going to light up these three lumen lamps. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Drop down here, recharge the chest and open it. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. We are going to recharge this cage. And then clear the concretions nearby. Then turn towards west, left side on the minimap, and look up. On this pillar, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. Right after that, let's teleport back. Turn towards northeast and go up the stairs. There's a Sealy here, so let's follow it. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Go through this bridge. And defeat the enemies. Then go up the stairs here and enter this tunnel. We are heading towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap, and follow this path. Come down here and clear the concretion. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. 
use your elemental sight, you will see that there's a rock pile here. So let's break it. Inside there's a sealy, so let's follow it. Then let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. And here defeat the enemies. Then head towards west, slightly towards south. There's a Sealy here, so let's follow it. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. There's a chest in this corner. Then let's go around here and head towards west, left side on the minimap. Defeat the enemies. Then head towards north, upward on the minimap. Enter this tunnel and follow this path. You will see a Sealy here, so let's follow it. And here to your left, there's a spot on this gear to your left. We need to investigate in order to get this miner's key. So remember to grab it, as we need this key later in this video. Then in the northeast direction, there are several barrels. So let's trigger them to break the rock. And behind it, there's a chest. Defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Come down here and defeat the enemies. Then keep heading towards northwest. Come down here, you will see this silly, so let's follow it. Then let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Come to this edge and glide down slowly. Look down, in here you will see this concretion, so let's cleanse it. Next, we are heading towards west, left side on the minimap. Towards this challenge, so glide towards it.
then let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. There's a lumen cage here, so let's recharge it and then destroy the concretions around. Then let's head towards north, upward on the minimap. Go through the bridge here. And defeat the enemies. Then let's go back to the bridge. Here, turn towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Look down. In this corner, there's a chest. So come down here and defeat the enemies. Then turn towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. There's a hole that can lead us to the chasm surface. And then turn around. There's a chest. Behind the chest, on the wall, there's a switch which you can use to unlock the gate. Operate it and you will also get an achievement. Alright, then let's move back through this passage. Let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. Follow this path. Come to this end and defeat the enemy. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Follow this path. From here, keep to your left. So head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Come up here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Jump down here and go around the rock. And to your left, in this gap, there's a chest. So defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Drop down here. There's a Sealy, so let's follow it. Then let's teleport back. Turn towards north, upward on the minimap. Behind these wooden boxes, there's a chest. Then teleport back again. And head towards south, downward on the minimap. Drop down here to this level, there's a chest, we can recharge it. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Go through the bridge here. And here to your right, take the stairs up. And here you will find several piles of hay. And we are going to ignite them.
then let's head towards south downward on the minimap. Drop down here and recharge the chest. Then let's go around and head towards northwest upper left on the minimap and defeat the enemies. Then head towards northeast upper right on the minimap. Come down here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards southeast bottom right on the minimap. Defeat the enemies. Then let's go around here and go up the stairs. In the east direction, there's a lumen cage, and we are going to clear the concretions around. Then let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. You will see barrels here, so let's ignite them to break the rock pile. Then let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap and go along this path. And here we are going to do this challenge. Then let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. From here head towards west, left side on the minimap. There's a Sealy here, so let's follow it. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap, and light up these lumen lamps here. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Climb up here and cleanse the concretion. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. There's a jumping platform here, so let's use it and jump towards south, downward on the minimap and climb up here. Follow this path and you will see this Sealy, so let's follow it. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards east, right side on the minimap. There's a pressure plate here, so let's place a geoconstruct on it. And then follow these symbols. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Use your elemental sight on this wooden platform. You can see that there is a chest. Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. And defeat the enemies. Then go up the stairs here in the east direction. Climb up the ladder and head towards south downward on the minimap. Come up here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards southwest bottom left on the minimap. 
come up the stairs here, you will see a silly, so let's follow it. Alright, after that, let's teleport back and head towards west, left side on the minimap. Follow this path. Take a right turn, we are going to do this challenge. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap, we are going to do another challenge. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. To your left, in this corner, there's a chest. Next, we are going to head towards this location. So head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap, and follow this path. Keep to your right. You will see a silly ahead of you, so let's glide towards it. direction there are several explosive you can take the chance to trigger it to break the rock this is basically a shortcut and a passage that you can use to enter this tunnel directly otherwise you will have to go around all the way then let's continue and head towards southwest bottom left on the mini map here we are going to do several challenges so let's start with this one, so head towards west, left side on the minimap. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. There's the second challenge. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Let's cleanse the blockage here. Inside the cave, there's a chest. Then let's exit here. Climb up the rock here and head towards north, upward on the minimap. There's a third challenge. Next, we are going to light up four geo pillars in order to unlock this chest in the northeast direction. 
so let's first head towards northeast upper right on the minimap come up here there's the first geo pillar then let's head towards west left side on the minimap there's the second geo pillar but it's currently locked simply light up the lumen lamps around it in order to unlock it then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. There's the third geo pillar. To unlock this one, simply break the three stone piles around it. The last geo pillar is in the south direction. Here, cleanse the concretion in order to unlock it. And with four pillars lit, the chest is unlocked. So let's go ahead and gather it. Alright, next, let's head towards west, left side on the minimap. There's a blockage here, so let's cleanse it. A path will be revealed, so let's jump down here. jump all the way down you can see this level with a lamp so let's land on it all right after that let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards southeast bottom right on the minimap jump down here and turn towards southwest bottom left on the minimap there's a tunnel here you have gained access to this tunnel as you do the world quest series and this chest is right beside the road then enter here and take a right turn so head towards west left side on the minimap And here cleans the concretion in this tent to review the chest. Then head towards northwest upper left on the minimap. Trigger these explosives to break the rock. And here you will see a Sealy, so let's follow it. Then head towards north upward on the minimap. Keep to your left and follow this path. Behind this waterfall, there's a rock pile, so let's break it. Inside, there's a hydro pillar, so let's activate it. Then continue to head towards northeast upper right on the minimap. There's a second waterfall. And in front, there's a second hydro pillar. And finally, head towards east, right side on the minimap. Between these two waterfalls, there's the last hydro pillar. So let's activate it to unlock the chest. Then let's use this jumping platform in the north direction and jump up. We are going to climb up. Turn towards northeast upper right on the minimap. You can see this pressure plate. So let's place a geo construct on it and gather the symbols.
All right, after that, let's teleport back and head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Jump down here, we're going to go through this tunnel again. And this time, instead of taking a right turn, we are going to continue to follow this track. You all see a silly here, so let's follow it. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Jump down here, there's a concretion, so let's cleanse it. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. We can use this jumping platform to speed up our progress. And here defeat the enemy. Then head towards north, upward on the minimap. Near the wall there's a chest. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap, and clear the monsters. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Cleanse the concretion here. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. You will see a city here, so let's follow it. Then let's head towards south, downward on the minimap, and follow this path. From here take a left turn, so head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Use this jumping platform to jump up, and you should see this challenge. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap, and follow this path. There's a lumen cage here, so let's recharge it and cleanse the concretion nearby. Then turn towards south, downward on the minimap. There's a jumping platform here, so let's use it to jump up and head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Then head towards north, upward on the minimap. Use your elemental sight, you should see this jumping platform here. Use it to jump up and head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. We are going to do this challenge. towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Here cleans the concretion and the chest will be revealed. We don't need to defeat the enemy. 
then keep heading towards northeast and follow this path. Here cleans the concretion and the chest will be reviewed. Then head towards northeast upper right on the minimap. Climb up here. And to your right there's a rock pile, so let's break it. Next, we are going to head towards this location. So head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. On this path, you will see this silly, so let's follow it. Then in the south direction, there's a chest. Simply light up these two lumen lamps. Then head towards north upward on the minimap and follow this path. Cross the stream here. Climb up here and turn towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. In this corner, there's a chest. Then let's exit and head towards west, left side on the minimap. Come to the stairs here. To your left, there's a gap. So let's go through it. And there's a chest on this fallen pillar. Then let's go back to the stairs. Go up the stairs here and to your right there's a hole on this wall. And we're going to go through it. In here there's a dual pillar so let's activate it. Then let's climb out. Turn around, we are going to climb up onto the second level. Here you will find a second dual pillar, so let's activate it. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. There's the third dual pillar. And for the last one, let's come down here. And in the south direction, there's a breakable wall. Inside here, there's the last dual pillar. Activate it and the chest will appear. Alright, next, let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Climb up here and clear the concretion. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Near this pillar, there's a Sealy. So let's follow it. Alright, after that, let's teleport back and head towards west, left side on the minimap. And defeat the enemies. Then continue to head west and jump down here. 
to your left there's a chest. Then let's climb up and head towards south downward on the minimap. Inside this building there's a Sealy. So let's follow it. Then let's fly around this building and head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Let's do this challenge. And then head towards south, downward on the minimap, jump down here. Behind this pillar, there's a challenge. Then let's head towards north, upward on the minimap. There's a lumen cage here, so let's recharge it and clear the concretions nearby. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. There's a jumping platform here. So let's use it and jump up. Let's head towards southeast and clear this blockage. Enter here and directly to your left, there's a chest. Then let's exit and keep to your left. We are going to head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Then follow this path. Here defeat the enemies. Then keep heading towards south, downward on the minimap and follow this path. defeat the enemies. Next let's turn around and jump down here in the northwest direction. Land on this level and go along the edge here. And in this corner there's a chest. Then let's head towards west, left side on the minimap and jump down here. In the west direction there's a lumen cage, so let's recharge it and cleanse the concretions nearby. Then let's head towards south, downward on the minimap. We can first come to this jumping platform in the southeast direction. And then jump towards southwest. You will see a silly here, so let's follow it.
so take the chance to unlock it if you haven't already. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards north upward on the minimap towards this direction. trigger these explosives to break the rock. And defeat the enemies. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Come down here, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. Then directly in front, in the southwest direction, let's defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport back. Head towards south, downward on the minimap. Come down here, there's a Sealy. So let's follow it. Behind the chest, this wall can be broken, so let's break it and enter this place. Defeat the enemies and this chest will appear. Then let's exit. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Cleanse the concretion here to review the chest. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap, and defeat the enemy. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. In this corner, there's a chest. Then let's go up the stairs here. And head towards west, left side on the minimap. Come inside this building, to your right, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it, but not too close. I will explain shortly why, but for now, follow what I do in this video. Come all the way here. At this point, these two Sealys will meet, and the reason for not getting too close is that you want to avoid triggering both Sealys at the same time. Instead, come to this side. Near this lumen lamp, there's a rechargeable lamp. So let's activate it. And then we are going to go behind the wall here. Go through this gap. You see the concretion here, so let's cleanse it. After that, let's go back. Come back to this point where the two sealies are. And basically we are going to only trigger one of them, and it should be this one. And here's what we can do. Let's come over here to this Sealy, and switch to walking mode, and approach this inner Sealy slowly. And now this Sealy is triggered, and the other one is still at the same place. Now continue to follow this Sealy, until it reach this lumen lamp. And at this point, we don't want to trigger them anymore, otherwise it's going to be complicated. So let's go back to the entrance, and here avoid triggering this silly as well. We want it to remain where it is. 
also come to the entrance here and activate this lumen lamp and this chest will appear. But if you have done the World Quest series already, then you probably have solved this puzzle already. And so it's very likely that you have also gathered this chest. And if not, let's open up this chest and inside there's a Sealy. And a wind current will appear, so let's ride the wind current up and follow this Sealy. It will stay at one of these lumen lamp and we are going to activate the other one in order to unlock this switch. But if you have followed my World Quest series walkthrough, then you should have solved these puzzles already. So let's activate the switch and continue to follow this silly down. Next, let's head towards west, left side on the minimap. Clear the concretion here and defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport back. Turn around and head towards east, right side on the minimap. We are going to cleanse this blockage. Enter here and follow the path. Trigger this explosive and defeat the enemies first. Go around the wall here. And in the northwest direction, there's a puzzle. So step on this platform to activate it and follow this path. After that, let's teleport back and head towards north, upward on the minimap, and jump down here. Inside the water, there's a pressure plate. So let's place a geoconstruct on it, and then follow the symbols. Right after that, let's teleport back. Head towards west, left side on the minimap, and jump down here. In this corner, let's defeat the enemies. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. We are going to do this challenge. Towards west, left side on the minimap. Use this jumping platform to jump up and climb up here. Then follow this path. Here to your right, underneath this pillar, there's a chest. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Directly in front, there's a chest. Simply light up the lumen lamps. Then teleport back. Head towards south, downward on the minimap, and defeat the enemy. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Near the route, we are going to defeat the enemies. Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. There's a wall here, so let's trigger these explosives. And 
there's a chest near the stream. Alright, after that, let's teleport back. And head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. On this stream, there's a silly, so let's follow it. Then let's go around the rock here. And in the west direction, there's a chest, so defeat the enemies. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Go behind this rock and defeat the enemies. Then head towards north upward on the minimap. We are going to climb up on this route. It's going to be quite a bit of climb, so take your time and watch out for your stamina. Essentially, we are going to glide towards the top of this huge mushroom. And if you have other characters that can teleport or create a wind current, that would make things easier. So feel free to go for alternative methods for getting up on that mushroom. So climb all the way up here and turn around. And there's the chest. So jump and glide towards it. Right next, let's teleport back. Head towards west, left side on the minimap. Follow this path. Approach this chest and monsters will appear, so defeat them. Then let's jump down here towards west, left side on the minimap. And in the west direction, there's a sealy, so let's follow it. Right after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Look down in front of this waterfall, there's the chest. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Go along this path. Come to the edge here and look down. On top of this pillar, there's a chest. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. 
turn towards northeast, upper right on the minimap, and follow this path. And alternatively, if you have unlocked the hidden waypoint, feel free to teleport there and skip ahead in the video. But for those who haven't unlocked this waypoint, I will show you quickly how you can find it. And if for some reasons you have a purple barrier here that you cannot enter, that means you haven't finished the Archon Quest. So in that case, go ahead and finish your Archon Quest first, and an NPC will help you to unlock this location. Then climb up here and turn towards north, upward on the minimap. You will find the Sealy here, so let's follow it. And basically this Sealy will lead you to this hidden waypoint. It's upside down and you can only unlock it if you climb up on this pillar. Then let's head towards south, slightly towards east. We are going to glide towards this building. Come to the edge here and look down. In the center, on one of the platform, there's a chest. Alright, and that's about all the chests that you can collect. The remaining parts are related to quests. So the next one is related to this world quest dimming mushrooms call for help and you can receive this quest at this location and near the end of the quest you will receive a chest again all the quests and links to the video are in the description all right the next one is related to a hidden exploration objective so let's first teleport to this waypoint and head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap, and follow the path. And in this one, we are going to first collect two treasure map fragments, and then we are going to enter the chasm underground from the surface. And in there, you will find two chests and a lumen spar, and you will also get an achievement. Come to this camp here, and the first fragment is on this pole. Alright, for the next one, let's go to the chasm surface. And we are going to teleport to this waypoint. And head towards east, right side on the minimap, and follow this path. Come to this camp, and on this post, there's the second fragment. Alright, and for the secret passage, let's teleport to this waypoint. To your right, there's a huge rock pile, so let's break it. And you can see this jumping platform, so let's use it to jump up and climb up towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Keep heading towards southeast and follow the path. Use this jumping platform to jump up. Climb all the way up here and there's another camp. And the secret passage is underneath the hay. So light it up and enter it. And inside here, there are two chests. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And head towards west, left side on the minimap. 
jump all the way down here and to your right in the northwest direction there's a gate and to open it you are required to have this miner's key and as you may remember earlier i told you to check an investigation spot in order to get this key so if not you will have to go back to chest number 128 there i showed you the location of this key all right after that let's teleport to this hidden waypoint and this one is related to another hidden exploration objective locked gate in the nameless ruins and in this one you are required to gather nine orb of the blue depths again all the locations and the walkthrough videos are in the description below so check it out if you haven't completed this one already Alright, then assuming that you have done that, let's continue. So head towards south, downward on the minimap and climb up here. Follow this path and watch out for the gap. come all the way here to this switch and here we need to insert these night orbs after that you will also get an achievement and inside here there are three chests again links to the walkthrough video are in the description below so feel free to check it out if you need all right after that let's teleport to this waypoint we are going to head towards this location and this one is related to another hidden exploration objective see it from the valley of life so if you have done that already then you are pretty much done and if not glide towards southeast bottom right on the minimap climb up here And in the east direction, there's an entrance, so let's follow this path. Come all the way here, and in the middle, there's a huge tree. To unlock this chest, we need to unlock three pillars and light them up. For the geo pillar in the southwest direction, there's a leaf. Simply touch it and it should be unlocked. Use your elemental sight to easier find these leaves. And for the electro pillar in the north direction, the leaves is near the root here. So climb up to touch it. And finally come to the last animal pillar. We are going to climb up on this route. And this one is in the east direction. After that, light up the last pillar and the chest will be unlocked. And for the last chest, I'm sure you have already gotten it if you have completed the World Quest series. It's obtained during the Heavenly Stones Daybreak, where you are asked to find this cannonball, and that marks the last chest in the chasm. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.